good spot. About to cross the anchor. I want to show you this. When I hook into those big fish, I have to get off anchor as fast as possible. So all I have to do is keep my anchor there and I've got a nice nice buoy to keep me there. So I could find it later, obviously. I just use a one and a half pound anchor and like 90 pounds of chain, it seems like. But it sets fast, real fast. And I tie a little slip knot. If you haven't been able to tell, obviously most of you have, but I'm at Gandy. I don't care. I don't care about giving away my secrets. This place isn't really a secret. Hopefully we're gonna catch some cobia, get some nice, nice big tarpon, maybe just one, that's all I want, if anything. Not a fan of catching them too much, kind of waste of time. Let's get the show on the road. I'm gonna rig up and then I'll get back with you guys. All right, so depending on how feisty the ladyfish are right now, this is what I usually use. One of those big shrimp sabikis, squid, whatever you want to call them. They're really good for mackerel, so the mackerel out here will probably catch some too, but I want to get some ladyfish, chop them up, and then turn that into pinfish, and then turn the pinfish into everything else. Let's see. Water's super murky. All that rain we've had recently just really, really chopped up this water. Up until now, this year, it's been just beautiful, super clear. That extra fresh water does one thing, and that's bring those bull sharks closer to you. So hopefully we'll see one of those, get that on camera. working this light line right here. As that tide slacks, a lot of these fish like to come out a little bit. And uh, either move to new spots or just look for fish that are hanging astray out here waiting for the current to change. I'm gonna get a couple casts here, look for cobia maybe. Probably won't catch a tarpon right now until that current picks up a little bit, but See if I can find a Kobe on this. And if not, I'm going to push back into the bridge a little bit, see if I can get a couple casts along the, the pilings there. And then after that, look for pinfish and do it the real way. 
don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a ton of rays right here, right behind me. I'm gonna cast, see if I can find a Kobe on him. Can you see him right there? <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't see a cobia on him. Go figure. But Still early. It's obviously a good sign. I was just about to pull up my anchor and I saw these big fins right coming out of the water. Oh. Kind of a bum, there's no Kobe on them though. That's their favorite place to be. I was talking to a guy from Fish and Wildlife not too long ago, a biologist. He said they did a study on one about a year ago. They found 43 stingray spines in it. Just from sitting on top of them. All right, I'm gonna try to get off this spot again. See if I see any more rays, of course, but uh, head over to the bridge there and see if I can find a, a pinfish for him. I'll be back. All right, guys. Obviously a little closer, if you can tell. <laughs> Came right up. My anchor's setting right now, so I'm gonna drift back a little bit. Nothing too major, but there's stuff popping off everywhere right here. came all the way up to the line and there was just freaking rays everywhere. No cobia though. I'm hoping it doesn't have to do with all this rain. Hope there's still something here. Definitely tarpon. They're everywhere here, but we'll see. I'm nervous being right on this, right on the bridge here because if I hook into something, two guesses where it goes. I hooked up to the smaller sabiki here. Hopefully I could find some bait fish. There seems to be little jacks hitting those uh, minnows on the surface everywhere out here. So if all else fails, I could fish for those guys. Lots of grass coming in. You can just 
just see these rays coming back and forth. It's like a highway. All right, guys, I don't want to waste my battery just dropping the sabiki, so I'll get back to you when the action gets a little hotter. All right, guys, so what I ended up doing is parking it underneath the, uh, <laughs> the bridge here. There's my kayak. There's some stuff. There's a ton of everything popping off along the... Uh, along the lines out here, the light lines, this area. So here's a light line, here's a light line. It's shaky out here. And oh, there's a freaking huge tarpon out there. I don't know if you see it. It's underneath the bridge, right, right there. His tail just came up. Yeah, so, uh, oh. There was one right there too. Is that? I don't know if you guys saw that as I went too fast, but yeah. So hopefully, I can just park it here and uh, <laughs> get some bait, and then call it a day. The only thing is, I can't chase them down in my kayak. So I broke off several big cobia and whatnot here, uh, just because they get stuck up in the. Well, you can imagine everybody gets stuck up in the all this. So hopefully. We'll get lucky today. I've got 50 pound braid to 60 pound mono. I like mono out here just because it gives me a little bit more stretch than the fluoro. Um, so hopefully, uh, it's not, it doesn't have the abrasion resistance, but I can yank on it a little bit more. So hopefully, we'll get some bait here in a couple minutes on the pilings and uh, kind of take it from there. Boom. All right, guys, so there's jacks everywhere right now. I don't think I've ever caught a jack this small in my life. So I'm gonna put them on my hook as bait. Live bait, see what happens. Fingers crossed. All right guys, I'm hooked into something big. I think it might be a shark. Check back with you in a minute. All right, guys. So unfortunately, 